Now we can represent in this way. This is your a1 where a1 is less than a2. Okay. And this is your a2. This side, this is your net weighted average. You can say it is your weighted average that we have represented by a. This is your n1. This is your n2. Just to take the difference because a2 will be more than uh, a. Then you take the difference like this, this way or this side. You take the difference this way. Okay. And write here. Then here you can write a2 minus a and this will become a minus a2. Then ratio of n1 by n2, this will be in ratio, this will be in ratio. Then ratio of n1 by n2 will be equal to a2 minus a divided by a minus a1. This will give you the ratio, not the exact number. That is only beauty of representation in terms of allegation means respect the relative number n1 ratio n2 will be this one exact number can be anything exact number can be anything in accordance with the ratio of n1 and n2 but ratio will be always equal to difference between a2 minus a and a minus a1 and uh, a1 will be like this and n1 plus n2 into k means if you are adding these two that will be always related to if you are taking difference between these two because these difference between a1 and a2 only will split and that only will give the scope for n1 and n2 then if you are multiplying with k equal to a2 minus a1 k will be integer or you can say fraction both can be not only integer will be except like in few of the cases a1 a2 minus a1 will be less than less than a less than uh, n1 plus n2 and few of the cases n1 plus n2 will be more than this one depends on the factor multiplication what we want to find but one thing is sure in any of the particular case based on the any of the factor multiplication one case will be 100 percent sure when n1 plus plus n2 will be equal to a2 minus a1 for any particular value k that is sure that is 100 percent sure it cannot go beyond that now number of variable involved are five five variable we are dealing here a1 a2 a and n1 and n2 now these five variables now based on the value of uh, variables given out is five different cases will be considered now these five how cases will be defined maybe three as given two we have to found four as given one we have to found which three it will be given maybe upper half has given or maybe lower half has given or maybe left has given right has given anything few data has given and few we have to find that only will define different 